Capote is one of our great quintessential 20th century writers, best known perhaps for Breakfast at Tiffany and In Cold Blood. And when he was a young man, he lived in Brooklyn, in particular, he lived in Brooklyn Heights, um, at a period of time when Brooklyn Heights was not the elegant neighborhood it began as, nor the elegant neighborhood that it is now. It's pretty clear from seeing the record here that Capote took a liking to David Addy at that point. Uh, and so when he was asked to do this essay about Brooklyn Heights for Holiday Magazine, which came out in February of 1959, it was Capote who really wanted David Addy to do the illustrations. And then began a working relationship between Truman Capote and David Atty. David Atty then seems to have been largely forgotten until his son Eli rediscovered those images. That's correct. Uh, his son Eli was actually quite young when his father died in the 1980s. Uh, didn't know that much about some of his work. And so when he came upon this wonderful cache of negatives and contact sheets that were very carefully organized uh, in, his, in the home he grew up in, he really began to dig in and learned about the relationship of his father, David, to Truman Capote. Well, Brooklyn looks like a really friendly place where people could just go out and meet their friends. Well, you know, Brooklyn Heights actually sort of started out as a small town, a village, if you will. Uh, the Civic Club uh, was probably a men's club of working class men. Uh, the neighborhood had very strong uh, Italian populations. You get a sense of people who uh, are really have a sense of community.